Okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll run an engagement ad on this one. Hit the three lines, go to ads manager. So now we have the post up. We did the edits. Everything is ready to go. Now we just come here, click ads manager, and okay. we'll just simply go through the full setup here. Okay, perfect. So, okay. And, and, and as you come in, you always want to make sure you're in the right account, which right. hit the drop down at the top, Northwestern Christian Credit Union, hit that drop down top left, up low. Oh, top left. Top left, right, right here. Right above. No, not that drop down, right where you see north to the right in campaigns. You see campaigns up, 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 up. Sorry, up. David. No, you're fine. Up just to the left. You see Northwestern Christian Credit Union, right there. Oh, right here. Right here. That's sorry, sorry. So these are your accounts. Hit see more ad accounts. So you just always want to make sure you're that you're in the right account. That's all. Because as you navigate through the platform, sometimes you'll be in the Christian Daniels one. Right. And although although it's one account, we want to be in the business account, which is that one. Right. Yeah. So we're there. So that's perfect. Right. So always just double check. And then um, real quick while we're here, always shade the blue to gray when you see it completed. Let's always. And these are the three tabs. So let's just um. And can you get rid of this left side, this left column? What you always want to do is just simply, even though the ad is off, the third one down, it completed, it's off, it, it hit the calendar schedule and it's off, it still remains blue. So you always want to shade it, shade it gray. So, so okay. when we're setting all this up, there's three tabs, the campaign, and then you have the middle tab, ad, set, ad sets. So click on that one, shade this one to gray. And then you have the third tab to the right, ads for one ad set, shade that one to gray as well. So the third tab, there you go. So these are our three tabs. These are the three steps that we're going to go through as we set up the ad, shade that one to gray. Perfect. So we're good. So now just, just uncheck or either hit the X, one selected, one selected, one selected at the top. What do you mean? Right here on the side? The blue? No, the blue one selected, just X that out. Oh, yeah. got you. X those ones out. Perfect. And then now we're just perfect. So that's how you want to, and it's just really just color co coordinating everything, just making sure right. that off is off and on is on. Gray is off, right. is on. blue is on. So now let's click the green one, we're good. So we'll fly through this next one. Okay. Great. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit engagement. So engagement is simply just getting getting that local audience to see that post. And, and, and am I gonna do brand awareness or reach? No, we're gonna do engagement. So engagement. Oh, it, these are all the same parts, gotcha, yes. Engagement, so we're gonna do post engagement at the bottom, which it's already blue, so we're fine there. Okay. And then we're gonna click continue. Okay, so now as we go in, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure at the top, the title, we always wanna name it. So why did the chicken cross the road image? That could be yeah. the title of this one. So right there, yep, post engagement. So let's delete that. Every, every level, which is our three tabs, that's what we're working in, has a title. So you'll always want to... Um, Why does it want to refresh my screen? Um, that's fine. You can... It, we'll, we'll put a title. You'll always want to name the campaign. So at the top, we're going to... We're going to... Cross the road. Whatever, whatever name that would be. Chicken cross the road. And then, and hey. then what we can do is let's put... Let's put Let's put image, we'll put image, and then in parentheses, go ahead and give it a space, in, in parentheses, let's put engagement. So this is very important, naming, naming each step of the way. There's only three steps, so we're going to name each one. This is okay. step one, this is engagement. So now we're going we're gonna to hit the categories, we're going to click the drop down, and we're going to go down to credit. Yes, we're going to always go with credit. Credit, okay. Yes. And so now we get get, get rid of the drop down. So click away. Okay, we're going, we can leave United States. That's fine. And then um, okay. we'll scroll down. We have engagement. And then we have, we have scroll down. And then we have post engagement. So we're good. So now we're going to click next. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now we're on the second step. Okay, as name. Okay, so, so now we're gonna give it a name. Cross the road again. No, because each step is different. Cool. Step one, okay. step one was simply choosing the objective, which is engagement. Okay. Step two is now where we're gonna choose the location and the budget. So what right. I would do here is I would just title it the location and the budget. So let's, 
right here, right? Yes. So let's just name it. The, no, not not the word location, the actual location, like where are we. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Type it um, in. Treasure Valley. Perfect. So type that in and then just push, you know, put dash um, whatever the budget is. I don't, let's say fifty dollars. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then now we'll scroll down, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the budget. We're gonna change out the the daily budget. We're gonna go lifetime. So we'll 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 hit the drop down there, and then we'll go lifetime. And you could just put fifty um, in the in the three fifty spot. So and that will change as we probably update this calendar. You'll you'll see it change, but we we'll have to just put it back at fifty. So now let's go, let's go to the, the calendar. We'll always start the next day. So we'll always right. go next day, 6 a.m. I like that you always said 6 a.m. So I'll... yes. Perfect. And then this, and then we'll just stretch it out 10 days. Um, or you can even, you can even stretch. I think I'm only going to go till Wednesday because Wednesday I'm going to have okay, a gotcha. new ad running. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. And then um, 6 a.m. Okay, perfect. And then we'll scroll down. And then this is where we'll actually choose the location. So click on edit. So you see United States there. We'll just go ahead and hover over United States and edit. And then you'll just simply type in the location there will X out of the United States to the right. There's an X. So if you hover over United States, you'll see the X just X that out and then just type in the new location, Treasure Valley or yeah, Treasure Valley. I'll put Napa, Idaho. Okay. So if that's the, the, the actual location, rename the top. Because if I do Napa, Idaho and I could do 20 miles out, that covers the Treasure Valley. Perfect. That should be the title of this step. It shouldn't be Treasure Valley. So, oh, what? Yeah. So that's why it's very descriptive. So yeah, go ahead and put that Napa and then let's go back up to the top and rename it. It's not treasure Valley. It's Napa. Okay. Perfect. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do. And then, and then also let's put there too Napa 20 miles. Cause that's, that's what, what we're, we're going to do as well. So perfect. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down and then what we want to do here, go back up Napa, go back up to the, what we want to do is make sure that the drop down, no Napa, go to location. Where Napa. am I at Napa? Sorry. I'm looking for Napa. Right here. Um, right here. Right here. Yeah. Okay. So change the 15 to 20. And what's very, very, very important because there's a, there is a huge difference. Well, I could do I 25 think. miles. Type, go ahead. Type okay? Yeah, that's fine. But type it in. So hit the drop down 24. Where is that? 24 miles. Oh, right there. Type it in. Type in 25 and just hit enter. Okay. So what's very, very important is right above it. People living in or recently in this location, hit that drop down right above Napa. Hit that drop down. So these are very, very specific. That's why Facebook. Yeah, and I want people living in. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we'll scroll down. Age. Um, you can leave, you can leave age, scroll down. So we got, we got age and then we, and then detail targeting. I would just leave detail targeting open. I wouldn't even put any, any targeting words at all. Languages, okay. change languages if, if you want. Um, maybe just put English and it's English all. So if you type in the word English, you'll see the drop down and you'll go English all. So just type in the English all. Yeah, perfect. And then scroll down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on automatic placement, which is, which is recommended. Automatic placement versus manual placement. Click on manual placement. That way I show you and educate you at the same time. Manual placement is, well, automatic placement is leaving it and allowing Facebook to place it on all of these platforms. So if you scroll down, Facebook, Instagram, aud um, audience network, all of these check marks is where that ad would go under automatic placement. Now, not every placement has the most engagement. So Facebook ends up allocating the funds to where the highest engagement is at. So for example, all these are checked. If when Facebook runs it and they realize that only, or not only, but if they realize that the majority of the engagement is coming from the news feed, then Facebook automatically allocates the budget there. So okay. although we go automatic and everything is checked, Facebook's not going to put it where it's not needed anyways. So sometimes I'll edit and uncheck everything, but a lot of times I'll just leave it automatic. 
but but okay. this but Facebook does give you the control to put it where you want to put it. But I'd rather just rely on Facebook. Let them put it where where they already know it's going to do best. And okay. so that's automatic. So automatic placement is where we'll leave it at. Um, and when you go in the future, as we run Instagram ads, when it's automatic placement, you notice the Instagram was checked or it is checked. Yeah. And 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 it's going to hit that. It's going to hit Instagram as well under automatic placement. But in the future, when we want to run Instagram ads, we're only going to do Instagram. So we would go manual placement. We would uncheck everything and we would only check Instagram. Watch, do it again, hit manual placement. So if you hit that, scroll down, you'll see Instagram. And then so uncheck everything and just keep it on Instagram. Keep Instagram, that's it. Okay. But but Instagram, we want to make sure the the um, the image is is the right dimension. We want to make sure right. the video is the right dimension. So that's why you'll want to run it separately and you'll want to know the metrics separately. So, but in this case, automatic, leave it automatic. It's an engagement okay. ad. So automatic's fine. Okay. So scroll down and then um, we're good here. Next. So, next. Yeah. So that's step two. We're done there. So now this is the final and third step and that's it. So at the top, I would just, yeah, take away the, the title, new post engagement ad. Let's just uh, rename it Cr chicken, chicken cross the road image. And we'll just leave it at that. You don't need, need to put anything in parentheses. Chicken cross the road image. Okay, perfect. And then, and then right here, the Instagram account, this is what's not connected yet. That Instagram account um, is not connected to this new, this new ad manager, which, yeah. is, which is, which we'll, we'll do that on our, on our next call. Cause really our next call. Okay. Yeah. We'll connect, we'll connect it. Um, so add setup, use existing post. That's fine. And then right below it, you see select post. So we're going to select post. And then you'll see that post right there. And then we'll click continue. We'll click it and then click continue. And, um, and what you can do, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the main objective. You can go ahead and add the button and, and, and add the link to the website. We have the okay, link let's in do. text, right? We have the link in the text, but let's also just yeah. add a button to it as well. Might as well. I mean, it might as well. But again, the reason why it's not going to do anything for us is because there's no pixel on that page. Right. So, but to have it there for vanity purposes, just in case someone wants to click on it, it's good. That's right. It. So let's just go ahead and grab the link for, yeah, let's just grab that. And you'll want to grab the whole thing, HTTPS, yeah, the whole thing. And we'll just copy that and then just paste it in to the actual, um, to the Am actual. I in the right thing? No, go back to the ads manager. Oh, right. I'm like, what happened? Okay, okay right here. Paste it in there. And then, you, and then if you notice at the top, there's learn more. So there's many different yeah. options, but learn more, hit the drop down just so you know. There's many different options, many different call to action options. Call now, get quote, learn more, send message. But learn more is is the most engaged button. It, it's the most okay. non-aggressive uh, button. Right. And it, it, it's what Facebook even recommends going with learn more. So yeah, we'll update post. And now you'll see that button right there. So there's the learn okay. more button to the right. And then, and then last time you talked about how we create these people in an audience that I keep. Yes, we're going to show that we're, we're going to get to that part okay. right here in a second. So so okay. now we scroll down and we are good. That's it. Um, nothing else um, to to need needed to click on. So okay. we're going to publish, and that's it. And so now in the next couple hours, that ad is going to now go in, into review. In the next couple hours, you should you should receive an email from Facebook. Um, saying your ad is scheduled or running. And that's the okay. email you're always really looking for is that that means that your ad was approved really. So, okay. And then I forgot how we go back and it always gets stuck here. Yeah, it always ends up getting stuck. So what we'll do is we'll just simply um, open up a new tab. Let's just open up. A, in fact, we could just go back to the Facebook tab. You have it at the top Facebook. Yeah, go to the Facebook 20 plus. Yeah, Facebook. And then hit the okay. home right here at the top, hit the home. And then go to ads manager to the left. And then we'll see a blue button at the in the top right. And we'll click that. It's it's the blue review and you'll see three. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Review and publish three. Yeah. Click on that blue button and, the, and then simply just push it through here. So we'll click that and then we'll click the green one. And that's it. So now let's close out the, the other one to the left of it. 24% close out that one. Yeah. Close out that one. And, and so now, yeah, leave. So now we're good okay. here. We're good here. So let's refresh this page here. Refresh this one. And, and now you have that ad scheduled. Um, and it's perfect. Okay, good. 
So now if you go to, yeah, yeah, so we're good. So now let's click on the three lines and this will be our last part. Click on three okay. lines, let's go to audiences to the right down, you'll see audiences. And, and, and this is what you'll always want to do is whenever you set up an ad, always make sure that, that, that there's a custom audience set up as well. Mainly it's for video. For video, every time you put out a new video, we, right. we post it on the business page. Step one. Step two is we come over here and we set up the ad, which is what we just did on this engagement one. But let's say it's a video. Step two, we set up the ad, which is what we just did. And then step three is we come over here and make sure there's a custom audience set up for it. Because every okay. video is going to be a new video. There's not a custom audience on that video yet. So that's why step three is coming over here and set up a custom audience. But okay. what we're going to do right now is I believe there's already an audience, which is Facebook business page visitors. That audience is what's tracking this post engagement. Okay. So for example, click on create audience. We already have, yeah, so we already have it, but let me show you where, where it's okay. really at. Click on custom audience. And then, so it's Facebook page right there to the right, Facebook page, click on that one and click next. And then over here, you have different options. So the events, we, that's what, that's what the, uh, the audience behind FB business page, that's what this already is, but I'm just showing okay. you what it is. Click on events, hit the drop down. Everyone who engaged with your page, hit that drop down. Everyone, no, hit events. Oops, sorry. Everyone who engaged with your page, that one. Yeah. So what that audience in the background is you have two audiences in the background you have welcome video and you have fb business page do you see that in the background no right right behind right in the background you you have this, oh yeah 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 right, yeah, right here those two yeah. audience yes you, those are your two audiences so the second one fb business page is 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 what we set up which is which is um which is in fact you know what yeah it is it is already it but but we could do it to we we could do it again. But the one it is, it's really this this third the fourth one down. People who engaged with any post. Let's do it again. Let's click on that. Let's get let's right. make sure we're super specific. Take take the thirty okay. the three sixty five. Turn it to to let's do ninety. Turn it to yeah. Delete that and and let's go ninety days. So for the past okay. ninety days or within a ninety day period, everyone who engages with any post or ad is in this audience. Okay. So so whatever event you go with there, people who engaged with any post or ad, that's going to be the audience name. Okay. Okay. That's going to be the audience name. So let's name it that same exact thing. People who engaged with any post or ad. This is what Facebook advertising is all about. 99.999% of Facebook advertising is all about your custom audiences. That's okay. what it's all about. And so um, create post. Create audience. You create. I'm sorry. Yeah. Click the blue one. Create audience. And 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 done. That's it. So, the FB business page visitors. Check that box to, to the left of it. FB page and click on edit at the top. Let's just double check this one really really quick. See this is the, okay perfect. So right there events. This is anyone who visited your page. Right. Let, and that and that's what you named it fb business page visitors so again you want to be very very specific with these names um okay which which this one's per, pretty specific i mean fb business page visitors that's pretty specific right. hit cancel so i'm glad we did that because i was thinking that that was the post or ad and it wasn't so i'm glad we did that so now yeah. anyone who engages with that post or ad is now going to be put in this audience and again, why is that so important? Because these audiences are local people who are engaging, right. they're watching our videos or they're engaging with our ad. Those are people that we want to continue to show ads to. And that's because I said that 25 mile radius, right? Versus the other ones that are, could be anywhere around the globe. Well, the other ones that are, are anywhere around the, or from anyone around the globe are just simply coming from just organic posting. You're just ran, you're just posting organically. And because you have a few thousand people who follow the page, those are the ones that are engaging, but yeah, they're all over the place. But the moment right. I run it as an ad and I make sure that I set up this custom audience. Now I got all this engagement going into this audience, which I can leverage in the future and show them another ad. Right. Because the 558, I don't care to show them an ad because it wasn't an ad in the first place. I don't, Th those people are from all over the place, but now we have this audience set up and now we have it set up as an ad and that's what we wanted to do. So Perfect. 
that's what creates the omnipresence. When you continue to build these audiences and they continue to see your ads, that's right. what it's all about. And I, I keep thinking how you told me consistency, consistency, consistency. So every Friday I plan on you you know, one a week at least. Yes. Or, or you just put out an ad and you let it run for three weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's- I, the Facebook one we'll do next week is for the kids savings program because we are having a contest and I want people to know it's not too late to have their kid open up a savings plan awesome. so they could be a part of that party. Awesome. Let's do it. Perfect. So, so you're, yeah, if I don't know if you're scheduled yet, but, but if you're, if you're, I next, am next Wednesday at 11, let me, um, let me double the 17th at 11. Yeah, perfect. Gotcha. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Yes, Deb. So, okay. And then don't forget to send me your email, send me your mailing address yes. in the email. I will. I will. Thank you so much, Deb. God bless oh, you. A wonderful thank you. Day. Blessings. And okay. thank your friend for being patient with us. Yes. <laughs> He's an amazing okay. guy. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Rick.